course area and pressure. Force and pressure. Pressure refers to the force applied to a unit of surface area. This is written as pressure equals force divided by area. Pressure is measured in pascals, which is PA. 1 PA equals 1 N slash M squared, which is Newton per square meter. Uh, 1,000 PA equals 1 kPa. Calculating pressure. Force equals five, 540 N. And the surface area equals 0 0.20 meters squared. So, uh, equals so pressure equals force divided by area, which is 540 divided by. Equals two seventy seven hundred and slash m squared, which is also two point seven k p a. Okay. Example is a thumbtack. A thumbtack is a solid object. A force is applied to one part of the, a solid, which is the head of the thumbtack. That force is then transmitted directly through it to the other solid object it is coming in contact with. The pin of the thumbtack becomes the high pressure because all the force is being concentrated over a small surface area. <coughs> Reducing pressure. Increasing the surface area reduces pressure. Think of a snowshoe. It works in the opposite way that the thumbtack would work. The force, your foot, exerts the, for the force, then is distributed throughout the snowshoe, creating a lower pressure. Now you are able to walk over the snow without sinking in. Pressure and Pascal's Law. Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician mathematician and physicist. Pascal found that when fluids in a container are put under pressure, they push in all directions. Pascal's law states, when pressure is applied from an outside source to a contained fluid, the force is transferred throughout the fluid in all directions. Applying Pascal's law. When you connect two syringes of different sizes together and push on their plunges, you quickly notice two things. The plunger in the smaller syringe moves farther than the plunger in the larger syringe. The plunger in the smaller syringe is easier to move than the plunger in the larger syringe. 